Hi guys, it's Sam. I've got, a, again, a different type of video for you today. I have been doing Project Life for a while now and thought I'd share a flip through with you of my 2017 album. This, I know you don't want to sit through the entire album, so I thought I might split it into three month chunks. So this would be April, May, June, and then I'll share July, August, September, probably in early October when I've got it all finished and caught up. I'm pretty good at keeping up to date with it. I do tend to do it a week at a time, although I've probably just jinxed myself telling you guys all that now. Um, so yeah, I'll jump straight in and see what you think. I use the Studio Calico um, documenter kit for my project life, but I have so much stuff in my stash that I always end up dipping into that as well. So this is the first, it's week 13, which is from the 27th of March to the 2nd of April. So all sorts of things going on this week. These I love these rubber words from part of the Studio Calico kit. I think they're from Jasmine Jones. So actually April starts here because I said there's 27th of March and I do a weekly double spread in my 12 by 12 and I do it, do it very traditionally. So I label the week. I also put the dates as well. And this, so this is kind of the back end of March and then April starts here. So it's all in chronological order. But I do try and limit myself to a week. I take that many photos, I could do 15 spreads per week, but I, I really try not to. If I've got lots of photos I want to get on, I tend to put them on a collage of, kind of six on a six by four and then cut them up. So you can see I've put five on there. Decided not to use the last one, use it as a journaling spot. And these again are little two by two type size pictures so I can get more on. I've started now, you'll see later on, adding tip-ins and things in as well, but this is the first week. So it wasn't much going on this week. It was quite an easy week at home. Um, we had some new bits put in, the, the, like a new fence along the front road. There's plenty of pictures of puppies. Plenty, plenty, plenty. That's what my weeks are full of, puppies and puppies. And it, just little things like, you know, getting up in the morning and having all three of them kind of cuddled up in bed and just snapping a quick picture. So it's, I very much use it to document the little things. Um, we bought a new house last year, so this was the changes in the front garden, just us chilling on the sofa. And you can see the puppy just cuddles in and falls asleep. So just some little, um, it says twinkle, twinkle, little star and a little sleepy face. And I just love capturing all the little things that we do. Having said that, there's a few big things. My partner and I run a wedding business and hire out kind of dance floors and photo booths and things. So, and we opened a little retail outlet. So there's a couple of pictures of that there. It's kind of, it's a weird place really. It's kind of a big warehouse place and we rented like a, a cart in there. Um, so that's got all of our stuff on. So this card, dream on your crazy dream, I thought that was really good for that. And I've just, like I said, I used mostly the Studio Calico kit, but I have dipped into my stash. So you can see the letters are from my stash and bits and pieces. And yeah, I just have fun and play. I don't really have a set style or set colours. I love colours, so I go with, you know, whatever inspires me that week. So for this spread, I had this card that I really wanted to put the April on from the kit. The other big cards had patterns and things on that I didn't felt work, so that worked best with that. And I wanted that card as well, so that kind of dictated these teals and pinks colours that I used throughout the spread. So that's week 13. As you can see, we jumped to a completely different colour scheme. Um, this is week 14, and my other half was ill quite a bit this week. But not ill, he kept having accidents. He's the clumsiest guy you've ever met. Um, and we ended up in A&E twice in one week for random accidents he'd had around the house. So this is kind of him sat with his sling. So I found this, which said status report, and I found some stickers that said back again, and kind of a, a thermometer thing. So this kind of dictated the black, white, and red theme this week. And in the kit, there was some really nice cards as well, but I got most of this from my stash, if I'm honest. I used some of the black and white cards from the kit, um, and this sort of meant to be, and then I used just went into my stash and used some washi and some papers that I'd found. The I Love Today was part of the kit as well. So that was just a really busy week, meeting up with some family, shopping. I printed out their uh, Facebook status that I put on. We went on a date night and I put a nice thing on Facebook, so I printed that out. And then this actually is um, a picture that my other half sent me when I was at work and a little meme that he sent as well. So I just cut those out and put that in. Um, this was pretty cool. I won a radio competition. I won a thousand pounds on a radio competition. That never happens to me. So I printed out, they emailed me the kind of confirmations. I printed the little email out and found a little sticker that said, so excited. So I put that in. So I just, like I said, it's, it's kind of, there are big things obviously, but it's a lot of little moments in here as well. You know, just cuddling on the sofa with the puppies. That appears more than it probably should. <laughs> so that's week 14. And then these weeks, week 15 and 16. Week 15 was really, really quiet and I took hardly any photos. So I've just done one side for that. And then week 16 was a really quiet week except for one event. We went to see Meatloaf the Musical, which was amazing. If anyone's interested in that, it's incredible. But that was kind of all that happened that week. So it didn't need a full double spread. So I've just done 
week 15 is one side and week 16 is the other and that's absolutely fine with me and in terms of colours for this one again the kit had this I love you in green and my puppy had a new favourite toy that came everywhere with him that was green so I used that for that my other half um, we like I said we moved house last year and he finally got around to clearing out his mum's house and was going back through some of his old things from when he was a kid and he found this drawing that he did of his dream house and it actually looks identical to our house now which is a little creepy so I just snapped a picture of that and put that in so I found this kind of retro old-fashioned paper um, kind of memories paper and some kind of newsprint so that dictated the colours I used for that and the house is yellow as well so it's got a bit of yellows and greens and also for meatloaf on this side the colours were very much obviously blacks browns and oranges so that kind of dictated the colours that I used over these two and again I used a lot of little photographs that I've just cut up um, to get a couple on each card really and then that's a, a photo, that's a full photograph of the stage. It probably isn't coming out very well on camera, but it's the stage set up with the motorbikes for Meatloaf and I've just used the thickers over the top to write it on there. So that's everything I think worth noting on that one. Um, there are some times where I don't use photographs. So these cards are just journaling cards and just little memes that I find to write some of the longer stories. And then there are others where I just use the photo and don't embellish it. So just go with the flow really. So this is week 17. So this week we actually managed to do, um, plant the garden up, which was amazing. We just had plain grass at the front and just mud at the back because it's a new build and they don't do the gardens for you. So we went to the garden centre and bought loads of gorgeous plants. So I went with a green theme this week and pulled some cards from my stash that I thought worked really well. They kind of look like gardeners, notebook type things. So they were awesome. Um, I also got my very first tattoo, which hurt, but I love it. <laughs> so again, just used lots of little photos. Um, Used some that I didn't, I mean that was dead quick so I didn't really have to embellish any of those. And then just some pictures of us at home and my daft other half dancing with the dogs which he does every morning and they absolutely love it. So I've got this find your feet and just a couple of pictures of them doing that. So that's the sort of thing that I don't want to forget those little moments. So just having a couple of pictures of him doing that when we're 60, 70 and I can look back and say oh yeah that's what he used to do. So that's very much what I use my project life for. I mean there are like I said, there are big stories in it. So this was, we went out for lunch with one of my colleagues at work, it was his birthday. So I just snapped a picture of all me and my work colleagues and I've just got a little card about it there and a couple of lines, but I don't need to go into a massive amount of detail. And I like the fact that I can see the house changing as well. So some of the older pictures, you can see the front garden's not got much going on and now it's full of flowers. So it's just those little changes that I like to document. And then this is week 18 and 19. So for these two weeks, there was nothing big happening really. Went to work, went to play badminton in the evening, relaxed with the puppies, did a bit of pen palling. There wasn't much going out going on. I mean, it was gorgeous sunshine so we sat in the garden but that was about it to be honest. So when I printed the pictures out I said I like to go chronological but I put all week 18, I think there's only maybe two and then week 19 starts, I think it's that one. So I just put them both together. I didn't, I didn't have kind of a separate 18 and 19, I just put them all together. And with housey things as well, it doesn't really matter what day I sat on the sofa with the dog or sat outside. It, it's all the same week. It just gives an overview of our lives. So I'm quite happy with that. Quite a few filler cards on this one as well because I didn't have many pictures. Um, this one, I love this so much. This was something that, again, I didn't want to forget. We were sat, it's properly soppy, I'm sorry guys, but we were sat in the study and I was quite happy crafting away as you do. And my other half was on the other side working on the computer and he just sent me a little nice text to say that he loved me across the desk which I mean it's a tiny little text but I didn't want to forget that so I printed that out and made a gorgeous card of it just put some words on just says the simple things happy heart things like that and just journaled about how nice that was it made me smile so it's just those little moments that I don't want to forget um, and yeah just really pretty things and the colours for this week I had this gorgeous card in my studio calico kit which like I said we were sat in the garden and sunbathing a lot of the week so that fitted really nicely and this one as well that I wanted to use behind the May rubber word so those two kind of dictated the colours this time. And then week 20, um, it was a bit of a busier week this week not massively I and mean, we're not not that busy type of people anyway but I always managed to fill my spreads. This week we went to visit um, a place where we're getting married next month now need to plan that <laughs> that's another story but we went to visit there and we had like a food tasting night so we went with all the family so I've just got I snapped some pictures as we were walking up to the venue the view in the back um, all the family and then just everybody kind of trying the different meals out as well and what we decided we were going to have for the actual day 
which was awesome. And then the night, so we had this gorgeous kind of luxury meal out. And then the next night we went to my brother's house for tea and he did turkey dinosaurs and chips like we were six. So I had to document that as well, but that was just really good fun. And again, lots of sleepy puppies and just nice house type things. So just capturing all the little moments. And the colours and the style came very much from the wedding venue. You can see it's very green and outdoorsy and this gorgeous sunset shot. So lots of greens and creams. So that's that one. Completely different style again. So week 21. Um, this week I went down to visit Lincoln and went to the cathedral there. Um, I'm actually working in Lincoln, so I went to visit the cathedral. And they had um, this sculpture trail on where there's all these different horses, uh, knights on horses, and they've been painted by different artists and they're all around the city and you've got to go and find them. So I found a few of those, which was awesome because I had this sticker sheet with a unicorn on. I don't use unicorns, I'm not girly, but I cut the horn off and used the horse and put find them all on it to go with that. So I managed to get that really awkward sticker in. And then my dad as well, who is the least creative person I think I've ever met, got roped into doing a play. One of his friends is in a theatre company and somebody dropped out last minute for a murder mystery. But he kind of had a play at the start and then this murder mystery night. So my dad got roped into helping. So he, he loved it in the end, but that was quite interesting. And I found this kind of piano and just put first show and explained about that as well on there and applaud, found some little word stickers. So I love this spread because I managed to use two, you know, a piano and a unicorn, which I would not normally have any use for. Um, and I just kept it really simple. I really liked, I normally kind of get to this stage and then embellish, but I got to this stage and thought, you know what, I really like it with just a few little bits on and really clean and simple. So I left it like that. Um, and again, just some kind of smaller pictures with little bits of journaling on. And then this is June. Um, well, 29th of May, 4th of June, week 22. And this week I was going abroad. Um, so I had quite a bit going on and I found... I wanted this card behind the June. So whenever I get the rubber letters, I go through it. You only get five, I think, of the four by six cards in the kit. So I kind of put it on each one to see which I like it best on. I liked it best on the blue. But then I was going away to um, Qatar. I work over there quite a lot um, in Doha. And this red very, very much felt like Qatar to me. I don't know why. It's kind of this kind of hot um, desert type of place. So the red and gold foiling, and it says going places, obviously worked really well. And then this post, this card had like postcard stamps and passport stamps on. So I wanted to use those three. So that's where this kind of grey, red and blue theme came from. Um, and I absolutely love this spread. I love how it turned out. So I put kind of a bit of writing, found a ticket and boarding pass thing on there, which just explained I was leaving, um, packing my suitcase and just some really nice photos, really. A little small adventures card from CS. Uh, from CS, goodness me, from Studio Calico. Sorry, CS is the name of my own business and it just comes off the tongue. <laughs> anyway, so um, small adventures card from Studio Calico. And I just went through my stash then and found some, um, whatever I had with the blue and red. And I found these alphas, which have got like, I don't know if it's coming up on the picture very well, but it's got blue and red lines through it, a bit like um, an old fashioned school book, line school book. So I used those alphas and they tied in really well. And then my cousin actually got married few months before this but put the wedding photos online so I just pinched the one that was my favourite one of all the family and put that in and just said you know and shared the Facebook pictures and this is my favourite and just captured some little everyday moments as well so the dog's got new toys this one thinks he's a cat and just runs around with a ball of wool so oh and my new obsession for cold coffee which oh oh my god I could just have that 15 times a day so yeah that was this this spread um was I left actually for Doha on the Sunday so I didn't the next page as you see is actually in Doha so it's kind of homey stuff and then getting ready to go away so here we go so this was my week in Doha um and like I said I go there quite regularly and I like to document both my week but also what's happening at home uh, my other half sends me tons of photos of the puppies and their day and what they're doing because I miss them all I get really homesick and also friends and families I'll put things on Facebook and I get to see what everyone's doing so I've got Hello Again Doha, which I've just written over my photograph. And that's always the view out of my bedroom window. I stay in the same hotel, the same room every time I go. So that's that. This card was just perfect. Like I said, with this sort of watercolour pinks and reds and the bright colours for Doha. It's absolutely amazing. And this time I went, actually, it was Ramadan. So that was a completely new experience for me. Um, I'm not a religious person at all, but obviously don't have any problem with any sort of religion. I'm quite happy to to meet everybody and un try and understand their faiths. But I found it really tough personally because it's a completely, um, the whole country obviously is a Muslim country. So even though I'm not, um, 
I don't know what the word is, but I'm not doing Ramadan, is that the word? Anyway, I hope that's the right way to say it, but I'm not kind of part of that, but I still can't eat and drink whilst I'm out and about. And it was 40 degrees and having no water all day in 40 odd degree heat was really tough. So all respect for the people who do it or kind of, you know, religiously to use the term, but it, they were incredible. I don't know how they did it. I really suffered, um, but they were lovely. And they kept sort of saying to me, you know, go back to the hotel room and have some water or something. Cause I kept having to leave meetings. So I just had a banging headache. So it was a really, I mean, I love it over there and I love the people, I love meeting everyone. I know them all really well now, so I, I love being there. But this week <laughs> really tested me. So I wrote a little bit about that and how I, I love experiencing the different cultures and I, I love the fact that I have been there during Ramadan so I can understand what happens and be part of that. But it's really tough, really tough. So I wrote a little bit about that. Um, in my room there was a little postcard because it was Ramadan, so it's got a little nice note from the manager on the back. Um, and it explains Ramadan, but it's also kind of um, saying, kind of have a, have a nice week basically. So it's a really nice little note that he left in my room. So I've got that, I've got a photo, that's actually a, a lift up when you take it out with the address of the hotel I stayed at. And then these are just some pictures my other half sent me whilst I was away. So him and his mum were putting up new, or trying to put up new wardrobes, but the dogs kept sleeping on the boxes. So just some little pictures of them doing that as well. Um, yeah, that's about it really. But the purples, I mean, the purples just matched perfectly. And even the Ramadan Kareem card has these kind of purples and yellows and things on. And then I did a, a card which my other half hates. So he was in Wigan in 12 degree rain and I was in Doha in 40 degree heat. <laughs> so that's just a little kind of snapshot. Uh, and this card was part of the Studio Calico kit. It says, a mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimension, which I thought was perfect because like I said, I've been to Doha a lot. I actually moved over there for a few months last year. So it's a whole new experience. It really just feel like a second home to me now. So I loved putting that one in. And then on the Sunday I came home. So I've got a nice little home card there as well. With me and my other half. I came home and went straight to work. So we went to a um, to Burnley Football Club to do some work there. And we snuck into the director's box and grabbed a quick selfie in front of the pitch as well. So that's that one. And then different colours again, week 24. Um, and this was this week was a quiet week in terms of home, but I had a bit of a project on. My grandparents passed away ooh, a couple of years ago now and um, my mum and dad have been kind of emptying the house and things and they found the wedding album. So my mum's one of five and obviously the one album doesn't split between five of them. So I uh, scanned it all in and duplicated it and created new albums for everybody, which they all loved. But the photos were amazing. So I just wanted to document that the photos are amazing and that's what I'd been doing that week and recreating their, their album. So I found these two photos of my grandparents and I found this gorgeous um, floral in the Studio Calico kit, which kind of looked a little bit old fashioned and very much like they would have liked. So I put that there and then I just took the navies and golds out of that to continue onto the spread. So it's kind of that, that end strip that's about my grandparents and what I've been up to. And then the rest is kind of my normal week. And like I said, it was a very quiet week. So I used a couple of filler cards on this. So I have like a current events one. It just says kind of right now what I'm enjoying, what I'm doing, eating, playing. I'm sorry, the sun's just decided to come out in Manchester. When do you ever do that? Huh? When I'm filming, obviously. So I'm sorry if you've got weird shadows on everything now, but hopefully it'll go away. It doesn't usually last that long. So <laughs> um, I even snapped some really silly memories, I suppose. Um, in work, it was a really busy week. So on the Friday, we decided just to have a couple of hours downtime and ordered pizza and cakes, which was awesome. And I managed to get a full kind of two cards out of that. So when it's quiet weeks, I do just add these little bits in. Lots of puppies, sleepy puppies, muddy puppies, more sleepy puppies. They tend to fill my weeks. God knows what will happen if I have kids. I can't fit puppies and kids in, I don't think. <laughs> and then this is week 25. And this one was very much led by this gorgeous floral card that I really wanted to use. And this one as well, which says, let's be weird and wonderful together. So I like the pinks and greens. So I carried that on for the spread. And again, there's not really massive... You know, it's not big life-changing events. It's all the little moments that I love to keep. So it's a couple of shots of me at work with my colleagues, the puppies being naughty, kind of a, a night at my brother's drinking gin. Shouldn't admit that, but you know, just having a, we don't like to meet up once a week and just have a couple of drinks and a takeaway and just catch up. So that was that week. Um, and then we went out on the weekend, just took the dogs for a walk and stopped for ice cream at a place that also does doggy ice cream. So it's me and my other halves and then doggy ice cream with little doggy tubes on, which they loved and then back at home when they fell asleep. So there's quite a few kind of filler cards in this one, um, but I love the colors. I really love how this one turned out. Sorry about the weird glare and the sun. 
It never, never sunny in Manchester. Oh. And then this is the last week of June to the 2nd of July. So this is week 26 and this was a big week. So two big things happened this week. We, our family business won um, an award for supplier of the year for the Northwest Wedding Awards. So that was massive. We've only been running 10 months. So to win the award was incredible. So I wanted to put in all the information about that. And I've got the invite as well. I just need to, it's a weird size. So I need to kind of, I think it's about six by eight. I don't want to cut it. So I just need a, a little insert to put that in. And I found this card that said dream big and this one that says remember this forever. So I use those as the color really for this week. So this tealy color. Um, and then I also found this yes please because it was uh, my other half's birthday the day after the awards as well. So we had two days. We went to York, me and him for the day. And then I had a bit of a party with all the family at home. So I found this yes please and just put cake. So this was his party at home and I've done this as a, a tip in. So this is, I actually just took one of the 12 by 12 um, page protectors and just cut the end off so that you could see the next page. So this is his party on the double page spread. There we go, daft people. The puppies are ridiculous and I hate that picture of me but I wanted the story in because the dogs always come and sit on me like that. You can see one of them, just they just like to be held like babies. It's ridiculous, I know, but they are spoiled. But that one, that one's an okay picture. That one I was talking, I didn't know they snapped the picture. But I wanted to show the both the puppies like that and I didn't have another one of me, so it's in there. So, like I said, I just go with the flow. When I'm, I don't think when I'm 50, 60, I'm gonna look back and think, oh, I shouldn't have looked like that. I'll just be laughing at the puppies, I won't care. So that's in. And then this, like I said, is our day in York. So the colours for this were kind of lots of browns and wood um, and creams. So I, I did use the teal, but I used some kind of great uh, brown backgrounds as well to tie that all in. So that's the kind of double page with a, a tip in for his birthday in our busy week. So that's it. So that takes me to up to July. So I'll share July, August, September with you in a couple of weeks time, probably beginning of October, something like that, if that's something that you'd want to see. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it gives you an idea of my life and as well as my kind of creative style and how I do project life. And if you've got any more ideas for videos you'd like to see, if you want to see some process videos or anything like that, or hopefully you've enjoyed this one, I'd love a thumbs up and a comment and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.